right, well, today we are working with a new product that we made. I figured this would be a good time as any to show you guys. So these are our new leaf spring perches that are adjustable. Uh, you can move it forward and back your axle without changing your leaf springs. So it's as simple as this. Stick your uh, socket head cap screw on there and you know move. You can move your axle forward and back just a few minutes. Loosen the U-bolts and run it forward, run, run it back. So where this would be a good fit would be in a spring under application in your hot rod rear end you're building if you've got to fit your wide tire and the wheel well in the perfect spot. Or on your wheeler if you have a rig that you don't want to cut into the fenders too much like an early Bronco or a CJ and you don't know where everything's going to rub or hit. You just start with these perches on your build so that when you're done, you can adjust the rear end exactly perfect for where you want it. So the reason this came up today is we're building my cousin's CJ7 and we decided to put these on it because it has a Dana 60 and very tight clearance to the gas tank and also stock fender wells, so tight clearances to the fenders. So zoom in here, let me show you the, some of the details on these. So as you can see, it's only an eighth inch taller than a standard leaf spring perch. And then these things are CNC machined. The inner sliding pill is CNC machined. And then TIG welded. They're for three inch axle tubes, but they can be used all the way up to four inch. And so this is how you get the product right here. You gotta weld it on. So come on over here. I'll show you what we're doing on the CJ. So this is CJ7 running 35s and a Dana 60. So if you sneak in here and look, so look from this side here. So if you look at the Dana 60, the diff covers right here, very tight clearance on the gas tank. So we want the wheelbase as far back as we can without it hitting on the gas tank. Now the next thing we're dealing with is if you look back at these wheel wells here, so the CJs have the rounded rear wheel wells. This one's already been trimmed just a little bit here and it's actually buckled from some tire rub right there. So we could have avoided that if we had these perches on here before. So now we'll get it all done. We'll take it out in the parking lot. We'll flex it, we'll drive it. We'll make sure it doesn't hit the gas tank. We'll make sure it doesn't rub here. We can play forward and back with it just by coming here and look there. The perches are in here. There's the socket head cap screw. So with the simple loosening of the U-bolts and adjusting that, um, we can adjust the wheelbase. Now, one thing that you gotta remember is that the center pin will move back and forth in the leaf spring plate. So in this setup, you would have to loosen the plate and go all the way to one of our holes, or you would have to slot the holes so that you can move it all the way uh, with these top plates. So these things could work for your project in the future. Keep it in mind. Thanks.